Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. There's been an earthquake swarm off of the coast of Baja, California that USGS isn't reporting. They did report a magnitude 4.3, but EMSC has been reporting these earthquakes in an area called the Borderlands. Yeah, it sounds like something out of a um, sci-fi fictional movie. Very little research has been done in this area for the potential of a large earthquake, which could be a magnitude 8. And I don't recall ever having an earthquake swarm such as this within uh, 24 hours. Here's an image, a map that shows the California borderlands and its major tectonic features as well as the location of earthquakes Oh, greater than a magnitude 5.5. A paper published in 2015 talked about the potential of a magnitude 8 earthquake, including the uh, Santa Cruz Catalina fault zone. And I don't know if it's on here. I don't think so. The Ferrello fault zone. I kind of tried to draw it out the best I could. And then we have the Patton Escarpment. That's all this lighter area. Doing research from 2010 and 2015, what the scientists found that blocks were welded together on from all the way from the San Andreas Fault on the east to the edge of the continental shelf on the west from about 150 to 200 kilometers or 90 to 125 miles offshore. This is through here. And yeah, the, so we got compression building all the way from the uh, San Andreas Fault all the way down here to the escarpment. These chunks of crust, as they call it, are getting squeezed and rotated as the Pacific Plate slides northwest away from California relative to the northern North American plate, uh, mostly underwater. Part of this region is called the California Continental Border Lands and includes the Channel Islands. Two of the larger faults in the borderland is the Santa Cruz Catalina Ridge Fault, which would be up over here, and the Ferrello Fault, which is this one over here. What they found along the Santa Cruz Catalina Ridge Fault are ridges and valleys and other clear signs that the fragmented body crust has been uplifted upward, lifted upward, um, while also showing slipping signs of going sideways, like the plates along the San Andreas Fault do. Uh, further out to sea, the Ferrello Fault Zone showed thrust faulting, yeah, the worst kind you can have, causing tsunamis, which is an upward movement of one side of the fault. The vertical mo movement means that blocks of crust are being compressed as well as sliding horizontally relative to each other. Compression comes when the blocks are being dragged northwest then slamming into the roots of the transverse ranges which are east-west running mountains north and west of Los Angeles and they call it a log jam. The plate movement is that's causing you know all the earthquakes and stress along the San Andreas Fault is also putting stress on the long Santa Cruz Catalina Ridge and the Ferrero Faults and others in the borderlands that can't rupture in the same manner as the San Andreas Fault. This gives it a potential of a long rupturing fault zones of a magnitude 8 or probably greater. Research of the borderland faults has, yeah, I don't know, they just haven't been researching it for some reason. Um, even the idea that there's faults through here um, is even slow to be caught on by other earth scientists. I've talked about this area in the past and about the earthquakes and the San Andreas Fault. You might be able to see it here and you might hear the lawnmower going out on outside. 
but when I noticed all these earthquakes and read about the potential for a large thrust earthquake which would create a tsunami yeah that would wrap around going up to San Diego Los Angeles it's like wow I wonder if they've raised the earthquake a level level at least amongst the uh, geologists that are watching this and why isn't USGS reporting this earthquake swarm most of these earthquakes that EMSC did report were in the magnitude of 3.5 there was a 3.7 a 4.1 a discrepancy here they did report this one USGS USGS said it was a 4.5 but EMSC said it was um, a 4.6 and then going to the USGS page you can see we only got two that are being reported here um, a 4.3 let me pull it over so you can see it a 4.3 which was yesterday and a 4.5 let me pull it a little bit farther over 4.3 and a 4.5 uh, the 4.3 they said was uh, 3.2 kilometers in depth or two miles in depth and then the 4.5 was 6.2 miles in depth now this is all earthquakes within the last week for USGS and there's a great discrepancy in what EMSC is reporting now we got what's this 4.3 I want to check out the date on that um, that was today um, and then we got another 4.3 that one was also today when I did my report today about the earthquake swarm that's occurring in North Korea now they raised their alert level when they only had the three earthquakes within a um, a small window of time and there's a lot more here within 24 hours it's a misconception people think that these smaller earthquakes relieve pressure no it's a complete opposite it actually shows you that stress has built yeah so I'll give you a link to the um, the paper that talks about these um, threat of a large earthquake in the area they call the borderland yeah, wasn't there a TV series um, one time um, uh, called the Borderlands? I think there was. But anyways, yeah, the largest one that I could find was back in 2012, which was right along the uh, Patton Escarpment. That was a 6.3. And then there was this other one um, in 2018, a magnitude 5.3 yeah i wonder if they raised the alert level and we just haven't been told what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing please like share and subscribe and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye <music>